doing today? <laughs> We're doing great. Welcome to Sailing Alley Cat. Is this episode two? It could be. I'm not sure where you're going to put it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's episode. This is the start of episode two. So a couple of days ago, we got this great big yep. thing took off of our boat, and we've spent the last two or three days getting it wrapped up. Tell us all about this wrong way. What's going on here? This is the mast. We got it all packaged up to go on the truck. It's going to ride on the uh, truck, the transport truck below the sailboat so the sailboat will go on the truck and then this will ride underneath it and why did it have to be wrapped up so good to take care of it what's that mean <laughs> um so you know the, the mast is a crucial part of the boat we wanted to uh make sure it didn't get dented or scratched up and try to keep it clean even from all the road dirt, dirt and debris uh-huh um so we uh wrapped over took all the antennas off it took all the electronics off it took all the lines off it all the steel rigging and everything and uh, wrapped it all up nice and tight. With first, we put cart wrapped carpet around it, and then we, uh, I guess it's a uh, pallet plastic wrap or something we put on it. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's like sand. It's like saran wrap. Yeah, it's a saran wrap for big boys. Mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, waterproof basically. Okay, great. We uh, and why did we need it to be waterproof? Like I said, it's gonna be riding right on the truck. You know, two feet off the highway for yeah. Is there hundred miles? Is something. there parts of it that can't get wet? Well, it's better to keep road debris and salt and sand out okay. of it. Okay, all so, right. Uh, I waterproofed all the electrical connections inside of this, and then we just wanted to keep it clean and keep it uh, as new as possible. Yeah, great. Um, measure it's 58 feet, 3 inches long. And why is, why is knowing the height of the mast such an important thing? Well, a couple. The trucker needed it to know how what he needed for uh, how he needed to set his truck up. And then we, I needed to know if we're going under bridges and stuff. Now I know exactly how tall it is. All right. So what's the plan for today? There's our boat over there. What are we doing today? Today we're going to uh, take the uh, uh, framework off for the bimini top. You can see it up there maybe. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the framework off and try to put it down inside the boat. And then uh, take the Dodger framework off. Do some more packaging and stuff and take some pulleys off. Otherwise known as blocks. Um, got a couple days left before we're done packaging it up and then we'll be waiting on the truck driver, which the truck driver just emailed us or texted us yesterday saying his truck broke down. Well, that sucks. So that's a bummer. So we're, that puts us a few days behind. Mm -hmm. But uh, he has a way to make up a few days, I think, in his schedule. So that's I good. Don't, I don't think we'll be too late. All right. Sounds good because this hotel life and this restaurant life is getting, getting old. old. It's getting My old. My goodness, is it getting old. We need to be on our boat, don't we? Yeah. I want to get on my boat. I want to get on my boat because that's my house, and that's where I cook, yeah. and that's where I do my stuff, and we need to get back on our boat. If you looked inside our boat right now, you'd think we were hoarders. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a little <laughs> tour of the inside of our boat. Actually, let's go do that right now. What do you say? Okay. All, All right. right. Let's go do that. All right, so here we are about to go on board Alicat. Actually, I'm already on the boat, and I'm getting ready to go down below. Be prepared, y'all, because it's a mess. Here we go. All right. Hey, everyone. So can you see the mess back here? For crying out loud, look at this mess. Everything that belongs on the boat is in here right now. Can you see in the back bedroom back there? For crying out loud, we got stuff everywhere. <laughs> We've got sails, we've got covers. You can see if I can set you back up here, see? This is supposed to be a bedroom. But right now it's a storage facility. Ah, good gracious, it's completely full. Okay. It's terrible. Yeah. So oh, we yeah. had originally originally thought <laughs> that when we came up here to Traverse City, maybe we'd be able to live on board the boat instead of staying in a hotel. Save us a little bit of money. But as you can see, there, <laughs> there's not much room. There's not much room for us to be living. We got stuff all over the floor. The beds are covered with stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. And that don't look too terribly bad, but it will when I get done today because we got all the cushions that need to come back on board and they are gonna go right there on that bed. So, yeah. So this is, uh, this is the tour. The tour for right now. It's a mess in here. But we're working it out. We're working it out. What you doing now, wrong way? Trying to take the cup holders off. Why do you want to do that? 
<laughs> I think I'd take this framework down. Oh, I thought I could God. fit. I thought I could fit it, take it off, and put it in the cabin. Uh huh. But that's not going to work. So we're going to have to lay it on the deck somehow and strap it down for the road trip. Yeah, we can't leave this hanging out in the re hanging out in the wind when we're traveling down the highway, can we? And we can't lose our cup holders. We certainly can't lose our cup sure. holders. Those are very in incredibly important. <laughs> you can't be a sailor without proper no, cup holders. No, absolutely. I completely agree. All right. So we're working on that. All right, folks, here we are doing a boat project. Me and Runway are doing a boat project together because <laughs> none of y'all thought it was possible. So I'm getting it on video. Here we are. Runway, what are we doing? We're wrapping the bimini uh, framework go down the road, I had to take it off so if you get under the clearance or go under bridges. Um, their number one friend is duct tape and industrial strength saran wrap, is that what we're calling this? I guess so. This stuff works good. I have, this is my third roll. Each roll is 2,000 feet or yards. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get that. Okay. So what are we doing here, wrong way? We're wrapping the framework for the Bimini. We're, uh, it's got to ride on the deck to keep it under the, the maximum height uh, clearance so it can go under the bridges. We wanted to wrap it up, so we put some towels on the end so it won't scratch the deck. And then we're wrapping it with this saran wrap, industrial strength saran wrap, so it will uh, stay together. And if it uh, any hardware falls off, it'll stay in the saran wrap. And then we're duct taping on top of that, so if the saran wrap rips, it won't... Uh, fly down the road behind the semi-truck as it's going down the highway. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen that me and Wrongway are working on a boat project together and nobody has died. Almost every project we have done has been together. Yeah. I can't do anything without her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So that's that. I just have to tie it down and we'll be good. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Boat project by Wrongway and Pit Stop. Hey, wrong way. And we have spent this morning finishing up battening down the hatches here, literally trying to make sure everything is secure. We got a phone call from the boat transporter last night, and the excellent news is that we are now on schedule to be picked up on Saturday? Yep. Saturday morning, which is the 16th, I believe. Yep. Saturday morning, the 16th. So we... Delivered on the 18th. Delivered? Yep. To, the, to Brunswick on the 18th. So we will be in Brunswick by the evening of the 17th, I do believe. There's all our boat cushions and everything. We have just got a huge mess in this boat. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. And, uh, whew, oh boy, we're pretty excited. At the same time, pretty scary. At the same time, pretty excited. Ha ha. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Pitt and Wrong Way, and we're here back, to, back here today at Onekama Marina because today we need to get our dinghy out of the boat garage and we need to get it loaded on the pickup truck. How are we going to do that, Wrong Way? Well, we got a lot of big boats in the way. I'm going to move mm -hmm. a bunch of boats to get our little boat out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go <laughs> take a look at the situation and see what we got to deal with. Yeah. Okay, so we're inside the boat garage. Look at all these gorgeous boats all getting ready to go in the water. Wow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Where's our dinghy? Wrong way. Lead us to it. Oh, my goodness. Let's follow wrong way. Okay. Why we got to push all these boats out of the way? Oh, what a cute little boat. Okay. So we got to move these, but we got to move all these boats apparently so we can get to our little dinghy. No, we don't have to move all the boats. I'm just kidding. Just a few of them. <laughs> look how strong wrong way is. Just pushing Mariah all. Look at him go. That little tiger. <laughs> all right, let's go find our boat. Oh, you got to move this one too? Yeah. Move this one too. Yeah, we got to put it on the side. Oh, great. What brutal force he's showing. 
as he manhandles this wave runner into submission. <laughs> this wave runner bends to the will of wrong way. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, so let's go. Oh, is that it down there? I see it. It looks like it's made its way. That's as far as I can get That's it. That's as far as you could get it. All right. There it is, the dinghy. All right, let me put this camera down here for a minute so I can figure out what it is we're about to do, because I don't know. All right, well, what we got to do, Rowan? I want to pick it up and then Just pick it up? flip it so it sits on the cradle. Okay. On, on, the, on this tube. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, Anna. Nope. Uh, put it back on the good set it down. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. Failed attempt one. What now? Uh, Got to get up higher. Okay. The problem with that is when I gift it, I get it higher, I lose my center and balance. I lose my gravity. I'll try to get it. Right. Ready? Yep. Am I there? Yep. What I gotta do? Is this right? Yeah. Okay. So. Look at it. Make sure we're not hurting anything. Hitting anything? What? No, I think it's right. Just resting on the pine tank. Oh my god! We got it. Okay. What now? So I got that man handled out of there. Now for the next project. We have to get this thingy on top of the tonneau cover. Let's see how this goes. All right. So we had to get the dinghy out of the back of the boat barn back there. And we had to like finagle it through all those other boats till we could get it up here. Now we've got to figure out how to get this dinghy on the back of the truck. And that's not really the big deal. The big deal is securing it so that it can travel from here to Georgia. So as you can see, you can see Runway's getting itself set up over here. And we're gonna have to work out a plan as to how we wanna do this because we gotta get the dinghy on top of the tonneau cover. So let's see what happens next. So we got it up there. All right, now we gotta tie it down. Tie it down without wrecking the paint of the truck is the goal. Oh boy. Not shaking out the strip. Uh huh. All right. All righty. 
Well, this is not the final product, but this pretty is close. pretty it's good starters. A little tweaking that's got to be done, right? Yeah. Now, Runway. Oh, it's nasty, honey. There ain't that. Uh -uh. Okay. Runway, you were talking to me about this over here just a minute ago. What was your concern about that? Well, I got good tie down points, but my fear is if I chafe through the, the strap, uh -huh. it's going to break, and I worry if this falls into yeah. the wheel and gets wrapped up real fast. What do you think about what are your thoughts on that? You gonna tape it? Gonna leave it? Gonna pray? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna <laughs> pad the uh, spots. I think the strap will chafe. Okay, and just keep an eye on it when we stop for gas and whatnot. Every single time. All right, sounds good. All right, so we got it. Are you, you pretty pleased with that? You think that'll work? Yeah. I am. I think so too. A little tweaking. Okay. A little tweaking, and we gonna look like the Beverly. Oh, we need a what? What? We need to get us a rocking chair up there, and we look like the Beverly Hillbillies rolling down the highway. It'll be fun if we can follow the boat down the highway. I didn't think we were going to be able to. I don't think it's going to be tough. Yeah. But there might be times in the trip that we can be right. with them and we'll be with our little boat following the big boat. <laughs> That'll be interesting. All right, then that's that.